Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Jason Up, New Age Revolution, Cave, Grieving. Grieving. Why am I grieving? Well, uh, we've, we've, we've got the, uh, the retirement of one of my favorite YouTubers, uh, a friend of mine, a real off the, off the YouTube friend of mine, a texting friend, if you will. Stephen Brown, ladies and gentlemen, the artist formerly known as Big Beefcake, Beefcake, Big Beefcake Gaming, multiple, multiple monikers. Well, now, folks, we can call him retired. Stephen Brown, ladies and gentlemen, has announced, to me anyways, uh, his retirement from the YouTube and um, I'm not happy about that. But he says it's not fun anymore. It's more of a chore. It's more of a hobby or a habit. Not a habit. It's more of a, I don't know what I'm trying to say. I'm just, I'm just shooken up. I'm just shooken up. It's not fun anymore. And um, I don't think he got, you know, I don't think he, look, you know, You don't you don't get huge on this YouTube unless you're doing something stupid, you know, unless you're doing something over the top uh, and you're embarrassing yourself or you're you know you're giving away you know millions of dollars to Wegman's Wegman's to uh, McDonald's drive-through employees or you know you're just doing you're just doing stupid stuff, you know, you're doing pranks and you're doing challenges or you're eating Scoville wings or whatever they're called, or you're shoving your mouth full of tons of food. And I, that's it. You know, that's how you get big on, on YouTube. And you pretty much sell your soul if that's what you're going to do. And then there's regular people who who just make videos. Um, pretty much everybody that I watch is just a regular person. You know, Ryan Chataway is a regular person. Stephen Brown's a regular person. Um, over on the West Coast, the Cine Stalker, I still watch occasionally. He's a regular person. You know, um, and and we just make content that uh, a you know a small population likes. Um, Smash Ventura, who I'll talk about later this week, is a is a regular person, and sometimes you know you just you you fly under the radar. Um, I've been doing this almost eight years now, and I've still just barely. Uh, you know, I'm still not at. I still haven't hit five thousand subscribers. Um, so in the, in the YouTube world, I'm tiny, you know, uh, so Stephen Brown, I, I, I don't think got the love that he deserved, uh, and, and the love by, I mean, views and subscribers, right? You know, there's, there's love on YouTube is defined in a couple different ways. It's the friends that you make. It's the conversations that you have. It's the, um, it's the feedback that you get from people, right? There's love. There's, there's love. And then another form of love is in the in the form of subscribers and views and you know monetization of your channel. And then and then it's that's that's a different kind of fandom or following on YouTube. Um, you know, Stephen didn't even get a thousand subscribers to to be able to monetize his channel. And I don't think I don't think that's fair uh, because I think he he puts out a very a very um, relaxing. Um, peaceful content, you know, vlogs, watching a, watching a regular guy do regular stuff makes you feel okay for also doing regular stuff, right? You don't, you don't have to be this over the top personality that goes out and does dumb things and upsets people and, and, you know, pranks and, and challenges that are, that are influencing kids in the wrong way. You know, um, you can just be a regular person, but if you're a regular person, you're going to get this much, you know, of the population. If you're doing dumb stuff, you're going to, you're going to, you're going to attract the masses and, you know, um, I don't know, Stephen, Stephen Brown was, just did not get, I think the, um, you know, the following that he should have, you know, it, why, why wouldn't a channel that's going to, why wouldn't a person who's going to attempt to complete 
all these Super Nintendo games, why wouldn't that attract a massive following? Because he's a talented gamer. He's going to play games and beat them, right? He's, he's already beaten like 9 or 11 or 12 of these games just by sitting down and playing for them for the first time and beating them. I love that stuff. You know, so anyway, um, look, he's got still about 25 vlogs, 30 vlogs that I will still go back and watch at night and, and fall asleep to. There's a, there's a million of his Saturday Night Horrors that are still out there. I'm going to watch all those. You know, I'll keep watching those. We will hopefully continue to communicate online and, and through text. Um, but I'm glad that he, you know, that he generated um, a, a small following of people who cared about his work and cared about him as a person and, and cared about his health struggles and his, you know, whatever. Um, cared, you know, actually cared. You know, when you, when you, you know, it's almost like you were invited into his house. You know, I, I know the layout of his house as much as he does, right? Because we've watched it, you know, and, and you know, his friendships with, you know, Scott Crusher and, um, you know, all, all the guys that are, I don't know, I mean, I don't know who, who he's also friends with, but all the comments were from, all of us, this, this little, you know, this little niche that we've created here on the YouTube. Um, Lisa E would, would leave comments. And so, I, you know, while that that's good, you know, a close group, I'd rather have a close group of friends than be the most popular kid in school and, and have to be friends with everybody. That would drive me nuts and it'd be fake. But if you've got a handful of friends, then you can then you can be true and be you know, and so that's what I think he got on this on the YouTube run and and um, I think he's gonna quit. I think he's done, which which you know sucks you know because I'll miss his vlogs. But I just wanted to come on here and say you know and personally you know publicly publicly thank Mr. Brown. He knows that I'm doing this. Uh, personally thank Stephen Brown for um, very innocent, uh, relaxing entertainment from a guy who would probably be very easy to be friends with and, and get along with. Um, you know, I would probably be terrified to be in his house because as sweet as she is, I do think Bella would, would probably try to eat my ankles and um, I'm, I'm scared of her. So you know, anyway, uh, I hope you change your mind, my friend. I, I hope you come back and do some more stuff. Um, it has led me to think about, you know, what's the end here? Is there an, is there an end game for me on, on YouTube? I mean, how much can I talk about? You know, I'm repeating stories. It's still fun for me. There's been some things recently on the YouTube that are not fun and, you know, just ridiculous. And so, you know, that's contributing to eh, what's the point of this anymore. But, you know, we're still going and, and we'll we'll go through this year still and, and you know, figure out what we're going to do. But anyway, Stephen Brown, uh, stay in touch and come back. Come back and do more vlogs. We're going to miss you. And uh, please update me on life and health and things. And we'll see you next time. Good night now.